All right, hey YouTube people. Let's uh, get started on this likes video. Um, basically, I wanna go around and uh, do some of my things that I really love about this uh, Ram Laramie. And uh, it's not really in any particular order, but I think I do have one must have kind of favorite and which we'll go over. Let's get started. So one of the features that I really like about this vehicle is all the charging, all the different ways you can charge a device or, or something in here. You know, they have it for you. Uh, there's a little plug down there. You got AC up here, AC jack up here. Um, you got more back here. Another plug, more chargers. One, two, three, four. 10 11 12 there's about 12 different ways you can charge something in here this thing has more ways to charge than in my my bedroom you know so that's that's kind of cool very very handy and another thing about these little charging ports the usb i can just buy a little usb junk drive off of amazon throw all my music you know old music on new music whatever just throw it on here pop it in And that's primarily how I listen to music. Uh, satellite radio every now and then, maybe Reddit, regular radio sometimes here and there. But that's just about how I listen to my music. And I can browse through it. I really like that I can control everything. So, you know, these are all my little different folders of music that I have. I like that. Uh, another one of my really cool things features that i like is just space there's so many different places and i know i feel like you guys have seen these a hundred times but i mean there's just space everywhere you know this comes up underneath the seats let, let me get out actually and i'll we'll go walk around there's just cubby spaces there's you know 10 20 different ways that you can, places where you can put something. You know, up here, this extends out more, and folds out. Um, hell, even under here, <clears throat> we tailgate it recently. Oh, mm -hmm. there you go. We tailgate it recently. I had some ice in here and uh, some other special drinks. Ah, I'll do that later. But yeah, we got water in there now. So from the ice, I need to dump that. That's awesome. That's storage, man. There's just storage for days. We had a big 55-inch uh, TV in here that we took when we tailgated. I was able to just put the seats up. I really didn't even have to put the seats up, honestly, but I did anyways. Put the seats all the way up. We're good to go. So this thing, just, just different places for space. All the little small places that you don't really think of when you're initially looking at the, the truck, making the purchase. Even in here, I mean, just... There's so many small places. Uh, cup holders for days, obviously. I'll count all that as storage, too. Um, even on the door. Look at this door here. You know, you got space in here. Door cell phone in there. Um, just, this is really cool. Let's come out if you want more storage. So... You know, you got this top layer. No one ever even thinks of this. Uh, got this bottom glove box. You can never have too many paper towels, trust me, especially if you got kids. Little cubby in here. There's places galore in this place. You might lose stuff in this truck. And I guess we can even count this little piece up here. I put stuff up here and I literally forget about it though. So I try not to put stuff up there. All right, moving on. Another reason that, you know, I purchased this vehicle is just all the space in the back. There's so much room. You know, I have two boys, you know, baby. It's, there's, they're not on top of each other. They have plenty of room. Plenty of room. You know, I have plenty of room back there. So, it's, it definitely gets the job done. I love that we have all this extra space. Probably would have ended up in an F-150 if this didn't have as much space as it did. That brings me to my next one. Um, 
will go here, power steps, auto. I have them in store right now. The power steps personally don't really help me. I bang my shins into them a lot. I'm a really tall guy. Uh, but everyone else in my family, awesome. My wife, she's five foot one. Um, my kids, they have a hard time, my mother-in-law, they have a hard time getting in the vehicle, but I get these power steps going and it makes life a lot easier. And I love that they fold away and look real sleek. That's, I've always loved that look. <clears throat> All right, moving on. Another thing is the LED lights. I love the little running strips that they have, the double running strips here, the LED headlights, and especially the LED fogs. This is really cool that they made them like this. I had it like this on my charger. The cool thing about these is that when you turn left or right, whichever way you're turning, it's gonna open up. It's gonna light and show you the pathway of which direction you're turning, uh, which is really neat. Um, whether you have the LEDs on or off, it's gonna shine that direction. It's pretty helpful. I love that there's LEDs throughout this vehicle. Tail lights inside. That's really, really cool. I think that's pretty classy in my opinion. I really like the LEDs. Now I know there's been some controversy about these the uh, Harman Kardon uh, speakers, but you know once it gets going, it's pretty acceptable. It's it, it does a good job, and uh, I've I've had uh, several people now since I've gotten it fixed and updated. You know they walk up to the vehicle and they go, "Hey man, is there? Did you put an aftermarket sub in there, or you know what what kind of systems in there?" I go, "No, this is all factory." So I, I'm a lot happier with this system now. It's not perfect by any means, but this system is pretty nice once everything's uh, firing up the way it should be. Uh, really do like the audio. 19 uh, speakers is what uh, they advertise in here, and it, it's really nice. Another cool thing that I like is I love, you know, a lot of vehicles have it these days, but I love that I can get 4G in here so my kids can, you know, sit back and play video games, play Fortnite with their friends while we're driving out of town or on a long drive. You know, they're in there, you know, hey, go left, go right, you know, blah, blah, blah calling out stuff on their, their little Nintendo Switches. And they're playing with all the rest of their friends back at home. I think that's really cool that they can, you know, I, we can have five devices in here connected and uh, running, uh, running Wi-Fi. So I think that's a really cool that I can have that. I never, you know, 10 years ago, I would have never dreamed of number one of having a vehicle like this but number two just that vehicles are are like this you know and maybe i'm just not in the game that much maybe there are some really nice vehicles that had stuff like this but you know i really like that next up we i bring you back to you know the meat and potatoes really of the vehicle everything is kind of at this point seems like it's centered around oh i've always wanted to do this it seems like it's centered around everything <laughs> Anyways, uh, I really like this 12-inch screen here. <laughs> it's nice. I like it. I love it a lot. Uh, I will say this. You know, honestly, I made this the third to the last for a reason. And I can live without this screen. Honestly, I can. I don't need it. Um, it's a big screen. It'd be nice. Like I said, I know a lot of you have heard me say, I wish we could get more real estate here. But until then, it's really just been used like an 8.4-inch screen. Um, so I, I, I can live without it. I really can. There's nothing that, that just over the top I need to have on this 12 inch screen. Is it super cool to look at? Absolutely. Is, is that like what turns heads when everyone looks in here? Absolutely. But if I had an 8.4 inch screen, I wouldn't be mad. Um, so I guess that's just where that is. I don't, I don't need to have this. Is it cool? Yeah, but I don't I don't use it most of the time. I use it just like any other screen as long as it gives me my navigation and music for the most part. I can work with that. Uh not not downplaying this screen by any means, so you take that for what you want. Next up we're gonna have my hood. Man, this is sexy. Like no joke. This is on one of my favorite parts to look at about this truck. I love it. I love that it's blacked out. I love the little hood scoops. I love 
just how the hood looks is so aggressive. It's, 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 it's nice, man. I don't know how to explain it, but this hat, I'm sold on this, you know. I love this look. I'm very, very happy with, with it and how it looks and how Ram made their upgrades and changed things. But uh, I really like it. I love walking out to my garage, walking out of work, and seeing this is what I like to see, seeing this front end like this and this hood. That's really cool. And last but not least, I guess it wasn't in any particular order until I got to the last three. But uh, last but not least, it's going to be this bad boy right here. No, you don't. I mean, I, I'm a kind of person. I love nature. I love being outside. If I didn't have anything else on this vehicle, I think this is something that I would truly fight for to have out of almost everything else. I love just having the roof, being able to open it up, just having that, that natural light coming in. I'm just, that's the kind of person I am. It's peaceful, it's calming to me, it's relaxing to me. Just driving down the freeway, you know, like, you know, basically you're in a convertible almost, you know, and you can just, you know, open it up more. I love this. I love this panel sunroof, y'all. Um, I don't know if I would have purchased it if I couldn't have gotten it. That's another reason why I probably would have ended up in an F-150 for the panel sunroof. I'm glad Ram came out with it. Um, I love this sunroof, y'all. A lot of uh, guys, I, I've always been done a lot of stuff with dealerships, and they go, a lot of people get sunroofs, and they never open them. You know, the first, once, you know, everything wears off, they don't they don't ever open them again. I go, I promise you, I open my shade or a roof damn near every day. I mean, that's just the kind of person I am. I haven't had any issues with it either, because I'm definitely looking at it if it's going to be, you know, obviously wear and tear and things like that, but <clears throat> I haven't had any issues with it, and I really love the sunroof. So let me uh, quit jab babbling about this. So overall, guys, uh, this is my likes video. I hope it came out clear because I think there was some confusion in my dislikes video. I think a lot of people thought I didn't like it, um, that, you know, I just regretting it and blah, blah, blah. I, I, I told, you know, a lot of people in that video that I was stretching, you know, I was looking for stuff. Uh, things that maybe I would change, but I could 100% live with. I love this truck. Keep in mind, I made built this truck to the T, you know, and I love everything that I put on this truck. There's not one thing that I regret on this truck. So just, I, I, I really like it. Uh, I, I even got the 33 gallon tank. I love that I got that tank. That might be the most underrated thing that people think about, but you know, I'm not at the gas pumps, you know, 33 gallons that last a long time. So I'm really happy about that. But this is my likes video guys. Uh, please like, subscribe. I'm gonna try and be getting more, vi more videos out um kind of letting you know what's going on keeping you up to date there's a few more things i got that i want to bring out but have a good holidays be safe and uh i'll talk to you later take it easy